How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And uh, I did actually record a live reaction to the deep dive for Morbius earlier today. I didn't like how it turned out, mostly because the volume seemed to be way too low. But someone did mention it in one of the comments on my videos today that they wanted to see a breakdown and my opinion on this champion. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so I'm basically just going to touch base on the overall thoughts of uh, my overall thoughts for Morbius. Um, so one, they didn't show any synergies again. I guess they're just not going to do that anymore. We'll just have to wait for the um, the update and then go check it out ourselves, which is no big deal, I guess. But I like seeing those in the game uh, or in the video. But basically, he is... Uh, seems to be a really useful champion. So he has this thing called Psionic Glide, which basically um, allows him to ignore damage and uh, his medium will be unblockable. Uh, and let's see, I can show you kind of how it is working in person. So as you can see, he's gliding, becoming unblockable and gaining a fervor uh, buff. Uh, the thing about this is as long as he has the fervor up, he cannot um glide again but against mystics um but if if it's prevented for any reason he'll get a passive one I, I think it's for any reason or if it's like uh nullified or something he'll get a passive one which allows him to glide over and over again so it's pretty cool pretty cool and basically his whole play style is building up bleeds um and then cashing them in for a nice special two uh, which is, I think, does he do it on this one? Oh, no, a special one. Um, here we go. Let me find one. I'm trying to find one where he uses a special two. Here we go. So basically, the whole uh, combat cycle is uh, going through and gliding, building up your bleeds. Each bleed will reduce the opponent's power and... Um, it's power and region rate by uh, region rate 10% and then power rate 5% per bleed. I think max stack of, um, I think it's a max stack of 30. I think that's what it is. Um, you can correct me if I'm wrong there. But basically you want to get to at least 10 before throwing the special 2 so you can get the petrify up. And the petrify will allow for a guaranteed crit on the special 2. Uh, increasing damage per bleed. He will also lifesteal... 15% of the damage done with a max cap at 10% of his health. So with, if the attack is that strong every time, it's you're going to be hitting that 10% every time, right? So very useful um, and very simple. It seems very simple. I don't think he's going to be hard to play. He's going to be a fun champion to play. Um, and his awakened ability is allowing him to place ruptures on the opponent instead of bleeds if they are bleed immune. Very similar, uh, almost an exact replica of Guillotine's ability, where Guillotine does the exact same thing. These ruptures um, do the exact same thing as bleeds, so you don't have to think about that. Again, very similar to Guillotine's awakened ability. Only thing he uh, he also only thing he gets uh, besides that is something very important and very useful. It's not required, but it is a cheat death mechanic, um, which prevents him from being knocked out. Uh, if he's taking direct damage from a source um so it's not it, it's not like hercules where it stays on for x amount of time it's just kind of as long as he's taking damage which uh kind of makes him a little crazy for suicide masteries i just realized if the poison's up yeah yeah he's that's pretty good but again not absolutely required for stuff like battlegrounds and stuff because uh, if you're at one percent health and battlegrounds and you need to survive you're probably losing the round anyways but you see my point you see my point um so overall with those key uh points mentioned uh it's gonna be fantastic because you can glide through some super annoying special attacks like uh dr doom special two um another one is like america's uh, special to uh, Mojo special to I'm just think I'm just going off the list just some annoying specials you can just glide through them it, no big deal um, some of those that were harder to punish now you can just glide and not worry about it so yeah 
Um, overall, I'm really excited for the champion. Um, I think he he has some he has some potential to be a see you later alligator tier champion, but um, he's he seems at the very least going to be god tier. He's he seems very very good. Now, when we get him, maybe he won't be as good as we're seeing, but I mean, especially if he's awakened, you can do this on any champion really. So. Unless they're immune to rupture, but I don't think we have any rupture immune champs. Um, there was a fight I did want to show. If you didn't see it, it's this Rentra fight. Um, I basically am super excited just to get them, just to finally shut down Rentras. Uh, <laughs> but this kind of shows you. See, he has a fervor. Uh, he had that fervor passive on, and so he could glide multiple times without having to worry about it. Because uh, it, yeah, it got uh, neutralized, and then he just gives him a big old yomp on the face. So... That's basically it. Again, synergies aren't out yet. Uh, I wish they did put them in here, but they're not. Uh, uh, but yeah, just overall, I'm expecting at least God tier, I would say. At least God tier. He seems very easy to play. Lots of bleeds, lots of region and combat power rate reduction, and lots of healing. So I'm happy with what I saw. I'm excited. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Y'all take care.